Welcome on to another video with Mr Burns. In this lesson, we are going to calculate the volume of a sphere without a calculator, okay? We've got a sphere here with radius 2 metres. We're going to take pi, because that's the guidance, as 3.14, okay? So we're using this pi rounded to the nearest hundredth, okay? Your ones, your tens, your hundredths, right? And we're going to see this unravel into something um, numerically challenging. We don't need this until the end. Okay, we could work it out. If you've watched the other video on the calculator, using the pi button, then you'll get a very similar answer. Okay, because around in this here, then this is what we're going to be conscious of. We don't want to do any early rounding throughout this question because that will have an impact on the overall answer. We've already been asked to round pi to 3.14. We don't want to round it any further until the end. Okay, so we're going to give our answer to three significant figures. Okay, so let's put that away until we need it. We're going to get our mark for substitution. I'm going to use the brackets here and 2 cubed, okay, so 2 cubed multiplying by itself 3 times, and please take your time with that, okay, don't write 6 because you see 2 and 3 together now, if you have watched the previous videos we have looked for connections, have you noticed that they've got thirds. Have you noticed that this has got multiples of thirds? Square base pyramid, cone. Okay. Thirds. We've got four thirds. Now connections before would have been using this value here or the height to divide it by three. If we divided eight by three, we're going to in introduce a decimal, which would then need to be rounded for us to work with it sensibly. So it's not going to, we're not going to divide the 8 by the 3. Does 3.14 divide by 3? Okay, well you can see that the 3 would, the 14 wouldn't. So again, we're going to have to add zeros and divide that. And that might introduce a recurring um, decimal or a transcendental number. Um, but it's just going to, the decimal is going to keep going on and on. So what can we do here? Right, well we can multiply by 4. We can multiply the 3.1 by 4. Can multiply the 8 by 4, will we do that first? Right, will we multiply 4 thirds by 8? Okay, so 32 thirds, let's do that. Okay, so there's a connection, right? But you'll see that in these videos there are connections with this fraction and with the radius or the height. Okay, we try and leave that to the end, especially if it's non-calculator. Okay, so 32 thirds multiplying 3.14 okay now what's the expected answer what are we expected to get here right let's have a wee look we've got 32 thirds so that's approximately 10 it's not quite 11 so 10 times 3.14 so let's say well, our answer is going to be around about 30 isn't it even with that 3 dividing by 3 is about 1 so 32 times 1 and a bit so it's going to be more Let's say it's 33, 34, 35, 36, right? So have an idea of what the answer should be. So if you're getting an answer that's in the 50s or 60s or indeed the 100s, then you know there's something else to do or there's something gone wrong, okay? I'm going to rub this working out, so pause the video if you want to keep it there. Um, I'll, get a, I'll watch it back uh, later on because we are going to do some multiplication of decimals here, okay? So skills that you've picked up earlier on in your career. Right, so 33, sorry, 32 thirds. Mm. And we're going to 32 multiplying 3.14 divide. Rearrange that, okay, because this is what we're going to do first. We're going to do 32 multiplying 3.14 and divide by 3 at the end, okay, because so, the division of the 3 that's going to introduce more rounding, okay, so 32 multiplying 314 dividing by 100 then by 3 right because it's rounded to the nearest 100 so we're going to make it into a whole number by multiplying it by 100 
but we want 3.14 so we have to divide by 102 okay so 32 multiplying 310 and 4 okay so there's other videos you can watch for your area multiplication please take your time uh, when doing these making sure that at the end when you're adding up this here right this is your answer here you've got it nicely lined up you can either go horizontally and then vertically or you can put it into your tower sum it's whatever your preference is we can guide you we can show you you have a preferred method for multiplication right you stick with that right this can um, lead to more working as some of you would say right but it gets it correct as long as you stick to this method and you line up your columns right your ones your tens your hundreds and your thousands okay so six seven eight nine ten and then ten again okay so it's not ten it's ten thousand and 48 okay we still need to divide that by 100 and then by 3 okay so dividing by 3 sorry by 100 and then we're at this point here okay where we all need to divide a decimal by 3 instead of earlier on 8 by 3 then multiplying by decimal multiplying by 4 okay we're leaving this dividing by 3 till the end right in the previous videos you'll see we're dealing with that at the start okay so a division uh, 100.48 okay we're wanting to do it to three significant figures we'll carry on some zeros just so we're not just working to what we want to do we'll just have it Right, because there we go there, so we wouldn't be able to just choose that three significant figures, right, like there, because already there's zeros there for our placeholder anyway. So three and a one, three decimal point in, very important. And because you've done that, and because I'm talking, don't forget to add your one, okay? See, three, six, nine, twelve, so four and then two. Okay, so that's our three significant figures. How does the next digit impact? on a rounding so 3 into 28 okay 9 1 and then there we go and so on and so forth so that looked as though it was working out quite nice towards the end there okay so 33.5 cubic meters Okay, so 33.5 cubic metres. Let's get that calculator back. 100.48 divided by 3. All right, and then we can see 33.49333 and so on and so forth. So that bit's correct. Go back to the top. 4 thirds multiplying 3.14 multiplying 2 cubed. 33.493 there's a wee dot under there to tell you that 3 is going on forever ok 33.4933 which is what we had here ok 3 significant figures 1st significant figures your 10s 2nd significant figures your 1s 3rd significant figures your 10ths ok the digit on the hundreds impacts on what happens to this digit 9 means we round the 4 up to 5